Hey guys, Penobi here bringing you another narrated Wi-Fi battle. Before we get to the action, a few quick announcements. You guys know the drill. Um, yeah. For those of you that don't know, I have reached 600 subscribers and very happy for that. I did make a three-part 600 subscriber special and wow, that took so long to upload and render. Now I know what the StarCraft commentators have to go through. But um, yeah, it's actually going to be in my random slash other playlist. Which, if you don't know, if you go to my channel, there is a list of playlists. It is the bottom playlist. And, um, if you do watch those videos, or if you already have, I don't know which part it was in. Maybe the second part. Um, I mentioned when going over my rules that, uh, if I ever got a Bidoof sweep on somebody, I would totally upload it. And don't get your hopes up. This isn't quite that. But, it is something of a similar note. And I'm just going to let you guys watch. I've said too much already. And all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Sorry for my loss of words, but let's just go ahead and get to the battle. Oh, yes. Before I forget, I almost moved on to the battle uh, without saying. If you guys haven't noticed or haven't checked it out yet, I have started a new segment to my channel called Guest Narrative Wi Fi Battles. Mephesta Fellows, Neurotoxin, and Puerto Rican Scooby 94 have all contributed and, um, you know, narrated some of my content for me, so I really appreciate that. And as I've said before, it's just a fun experience to involve everyone and all that good stuff. Um, so I just wanted to remind you guys of that. And if you haven't seen it, my 500 subscriber special, in addition to the 600 subscriber special, along with a battle um, against Blame Truth, are all up on my channel in their respective playlists. I know I've been uploading a lot lately, so you might have missed it in your subscription box, so I wanted to make an announcement of that. But anyway, here's the battle. This is going to be a battle with, um, Floppy Zombie. I'm just going to go for the stockpile right away on my Gomafusen, while he goes for the Ice Beam because it's for super effective damage, so it makes sense. And if I hadn't gotten the stockpile up and I weren't a defensive set, it could have been a 2-hit KO. He's going to miss a Hypnosis after I get, um, that other last stockpile up, which I carried the Lumberry, so it didn't particularly matter. If you guys can't tell, this video is a little bit faster, just because of the nature of the battle. But unfortunately for him, I'm going to be a sleep-talking set. Although in retrospect, I kind of wish I did give it um, Waterfall instead of sleep-talk. But um, it did work out pretty well for me right there. I'm going to go for the sleep-talk and get the quick attack to break his sub, which is kind of nice. And I'm going to predict my own wake-up, which is kind of funny, and go for the quick attack. Um, in retrospect, I should have just gone for the curse, but doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go for my last curse, get my plus 6 attack, I've got my plus 6 defense, I've got my plus like 3 special defense with the stockpile. I'm pretty sure the stockpile can't, you know, stack past plus 6, but what do I know? And I'm pretty sure that um, even with um, the evolution of Bidoof, what's it called? Um, crap, I always forget this guy's stupid name. But the point is, it's not a Bidoof, it's the evolution of a Bidoof. And, uh, yeah, he's a scary derp. He's a very scary derp. But I'm pretty sure his ability doesn't, like, work with stuff when you pass it to him. He has to use the boost himself. So, those stockpiles are still only plus one defense apiece. And I assume my defense is at six. The reason he's going for Stone Edge as opposed to a stab move is because Stone Edge has a high critical hit ratio which um, crits, you know, bypass all um, status changes, including, you know, defense buffs by curse, including, you know, stockpiles and all that kind of stuff. And that guy was actually choice banded. Um, this guy likes to play pretty original, which is really cool. And yeah, he's going to go for a... This is actually his um, max physical attack, Articuno. Um, he's going to go for the sky attack with the herb. But even that is not going to do much against the scary derp. And it's really funny that... Um, a times four resisted quick attack is almost um, killed that thing, but he's gonna finish me off with an explosion, which neither of us really expected. And I'm just gonna bring this thing in, go for the belly drum, hoping he'll go for the stealth rock. And I was so happy he did that, because um, if you guys aren't familiar with this poke, um, yeah, after one belly drum, it can get max attack, use its ability gluttony to activate the berry. It has a stab priority and extreme speed, which is like the most powerful priority move. So, it can be a pretty dangerous sweeper after just one belly drum. And for those of you familiar with my, um, Licky Licky, my very bulky Licky Licky set, 
even that gets one hit KO'd by, um, you know, a Lanoon after the Belly Drum. So that's the battle. Um, pretty short, pretty simple, but, oh man, I just had a blast with that one. And after what I said in my 600 subscriber special, it was pretty much mandatory that I had to upload this. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will have to make a Bidoof sweep, not the evolution of Bidoof, in the near future. Um, maybe. I don't know, it's going to be kind of hard to sweep somebody with a Bidoof. I don't go noob hunting on Serebii, actually. You know, play my friends and stuff. But, uh, yep, that's about it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, take heed to the uh, announcements. Hopefully you guys will check out some of that other content that is available for you. And, like I said, that's it for this one, so I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.